15 years after killing him, Talib Peterson's wife, Najwa, gets parole. A premeditated mass killing in KZN claims the lives of children. And the moment Jared Isaacman exits the Dragon capsule in the first ever private spacewalk. Hello, I'm Jane Dutton. This is Eyewitness News. Tyler has made history again. She has become the first South African to win an MTV Video Music Award. The singer won the Best Afrobeats Award in New York for her major hit, Water. Even though Afrobeats has run things and has opened so many doors for us, African music is so diverse. It's more than just Afrobeats. I, I come from South Africa. I represent, I'm a piano. I represent my culture and I just want to shout out all the Afrobeats artists in this category with me. Shout out Thames, Ira Star, shout out LoJ, shout out Rema, Whiskey, Bunaboy, all of us. To the extreme violence in KZN, seven members of the Kambuli family in Shlokozi near High Flats were shot and killed last night. Three of them, children. Gunmen stormed the house while they were watching television and killed them execution style, including the five-year-old. Police have formed a task team to find the killers. There was a total of about 25 bullets that were used, uh, 18 cartridges and seven uh, bullet heads that were found in this uh, crime scene. And we are convinced as a police that it was an execution, it was a planned murder. Uh, they, they organized it and they planned to come and kill this family. The DA has axed its chief of staff, Roman Kabanak. Agriculture Minister John Steenhuizen admits he got it wrong when he appointed the founder of the Capitalist Party and controversial podcaster. Steenhuizen, along with many others, have wished former Minister Pravin Gordon a speedy recovery. The 75-year-old was hospitalized on Tuesday. Indeed, Comrade PG is currently in a critical condition and is receiving the necessary medical attention. He is surrounded by family and friends and comrades. We believe that the medical team is doing all that is necessary to give Comrade Pravin Gordon the best care possible and we remain hopeful for his recovery. Mboro's prayers were answered. Controversial pastor Paseka Motsuneng has been granted 3,000 rand bail. His bodyguard has been released on a warning. They were arrested in August after storming a primary school in Katlehong, yielding a panga while forcefully removing two learners believed to be his grandchildren from the facility. The men are expected back in court on the 21st of October this year. The nation is waiting for him to do his work outside. We are celebrating. We are happy. We are celebrating. We can see that things have changed now. You can see the atmosphere outside of everyone that is on the street here and everyone in here, that everyone is happy. Husband killer Najwa Peterson has been granted parole. She appeared before the Correctional Supervision and Parole Board yesterday. Peterson began serving a 28-year sentence in 2009 for murder and robbery with aggravating circumstances. She was the mastermind behind the murder of her husband, music legend, Talib Peterson, in 2006. Upon release, Natural Peterson will serve the remainder of her sentence under the system of community corrections, where she will be monitored by parole officers. Hundreds of families have been left without electricity following Joburg City Power's decision to disconnect their homes from the grid. The Octavia Hill Flats, located in the inner city Joburg, have been cut off due to non-payment of their power bills. The city of Joburg has been criticised for many years for failing to recover some of the money that they should recover for services that they offer. And in order to collect their revenue, City Power has decided to cut off electricity to some of the buildings that have not been paying for their lights. They visited multiple buildings, including commercial and residential properties. And one, of course, that stood out is the Reef Hotel in the inner city of Joburg. This hotel owes the city of Joburg, or City Power rather, about 4.1 million rand. We've been at another flat where it owes City Power about 12 million rand. 
The power utility says it will continue disconnecting homes, uh, uh, residential properties, commercial properties, until a time that they start paying you know, their bills regularly. For Eyewitness News, I'm Alfa Ramushwana, Johannesburg. Gauteng, Eastern Cape, KwaZulu-Natal and Western Cape have been identified as hubs for extortion crimes and it's getting worse. National Police Commissioner Fani Masimola has revealed that the service has identified and arrested some police officers linked to the rising cases of extortion across the country. Although more police have put more boots on the ground, corruption has somehow reared its head in spite of their efforts to deal with the scourge. The DPCI and the the, the other combat teams in Kwasim Natal have arrested some of our police members in Kwasim Natal where they were extorting 100,000 from a businessman. 11 police officials and one civilian were arrested in the process. As long as they do extortion or do crime, we will treat them like criminals. After trekking deeper into space than any humans, in the last half century, a pioneering private crew has just made history. They've successfully completed the first ever spacewalk by non-professional astronauts. In a region of space called the Inner Van Allen Radiation Belt, a zone teeming with dangerous high-energy particles, the SpaceX Polaris Dawn mission, led by fintech billionaire Jared Isaacman, launched early Tuesday from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Isaacman was followed by crewmate Sarah Gillis, a SpaceX engineer. All four crew underwent more than two years of training in preparation for the landmark mission. Back to Earth. It's goodbye from us. See you again tomorrow. Eyewitness News. In touch, in tune and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.